This first one is very basic. I'll let you listen to it and then I'll explain what I did. Right here, it starts with a slowdown effect and then jumps over to a beat drop where there's just no instrumental at all and then a speed up effect and then it's back into the regular beat. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm in grid mode so the beat is locked onto the grid. It's set up to the right tempo of the song and I'm using this right here tab to transient so whenever that's highlighted whenever you press the tab key it'll lock over to the transients and that helps you do the cleanest cuts this first cut is right here so uh, command E on Mac to cut there tab to transient to the next spot command E tab to transient over there command E and to the last one, command E. So this first one here, I do the slowdown effect. You just render it, and it slows it down. The second one, I mute it. And the third one, I speed it up and render. And now, here's that track. So that's all it is. It's really simple. It's just slowing it down, cutting out a piece of the instrumental, and then speeding it back up. And it's a pretty cool effect. It gives space in the beat. If the lyrics are saying something important, uh, it could emphasize those lyrics. So beat drops come in handy for those things. Let's jump over to this one here. And let's listen to it. Okay, this one, it does a slowdown effect, a speed up, and then it goes back to normal, but as it's speeding up and coming back to normal right here, you can see that this EQ, it's filtering out all the highs and slowly bringing them back in. So watch the EQ here on this part. Okay, so it's just taking out those frequencies to let it build back up. This just is something, if say your lyrics, you want them to sound maybe like underwater or far back, or you just want the beat to sound like it's, you're listening outside the club or some, uh, sound like that, that's how you do it. You take off all the high frequencies and you filter them back in slowly to feel like you're coming back into a club or coming back into the main part of the song or however you want to use it. And to do that, I'll show you on this track here. Same thing, uh, tab to transient to find your cut. And here as well. Uh, this one actually doesn't have to be cut. So the first one here, slow down. Second one, speed up. This one stays the same. We're not affecting it with this plugin. Now we have to jump into the EQ. So I opened up just a, uh, you could use any EQ you want. I used the Renaissance EQ, the two band. And once you have your EQ open, you need to tell it to filter out and to automate it to move. So you go over here to plugin automation. You are going to be messing with the sixth band frequency. Uh, it might be a different band in the EQ you're using, but this is the band that I'm using. So it's right, well, it's already over there. So it's the band six frequency here. And then you just add it over and you press okay. Then once that's done, you can now automate your EQ. You go to where your waveform is and you select at the bottom. So now you see I drew, drew in the line that I want the EQ to swipe up from. So I just went to the pencil tool, grabbed the line, and drew it in right here, and up like that. So you can see how the EQ reacts to the automation. Okay, and you want it to read it right here. So as long as you have all that set up, that's how it's going to come out, and that's how you do it. 
Next thing is over here. And this one's pretty cool. This was, uh, I was trying to emulate the effect in um, a Rick Ross song where it slows down and then when it's coming back in, it's chopped up as it's speeding up as well as it's panning left and right. So it has a bunch of things going on. Let's see what it sounds like and then I'll show you how to do it. So this is a cool effect uh, that really stands out and sounds different than a lot of other chopped up beats. This first part here is just slowed down with this plugin. Then I have it completely silent. What I did here was I selected all this audio. This was actually a big piece at once. And then I put this speed up processing on it. So it's just speeding up. Then I go in on the grid and let's see, let's zoom in. Yeah, so it's a 30 second note grid. And I just deleted every other 30 second note spot until I had all of them deleted and just these pieces were left. So you get every other 30 second note coming through. Then I go into panning and I panned every um, note that's coming through left and then right, left and then right. All right, so my panning is back and forth. So let's see what that sounds like. So it's a pretty cool effect. Now let me show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna jump down to this one here. Starting with this first spot, I tab to the transient, command E to chop it, and then I'm going to just chop. This isn't tabbed over to any transient, it's just picking a random spot because it's going to go into silence. This part here, I'm going to do a slowdown. And then I'll tra tab to transient right here and just mute this out. Uh, Command M for that. I'm going to tab transient to this one here. Command E to chop it. This whole piece right here needs to be uh, sped up. So this is what it sounds like so far. I still had the panning going on, so let me take that off so you can hear what it sounds like without that. All right, back to what it sounds like before. All right, so all we have is a slowdown, uh, empty space, and then speed up. But to make it more interesting, I went in and I chopped out every other 30 second note. So you go in like that, chop it all out until you get all the pieces that you want like up here. And then what you're going to do is once you have it all chopped out, you're going to go into your pan. If it's a, I mean, it's going to be a stereo track, hopefully your beats stereo. You're going to pan left uh, for the first one. All I did was go over here to the square, set it up at a 16th note, because I want to do every other one. And you just select it and pull down, and that'll pan like that. Go to your pan right, do the same thing. And then you get this sound. So I didn't chop out all those pieces, but if I were to, you'd hear exactly the same as up there before. So 30 second note chops. Okay, so here it is with the chops and the panning. To get those little like, uh, to make it not so clicky, what you do is you fade in and out each little piece. So I added fades on them here, as you can see. All you do is drag it over. Well, that's I'm gonna go to slip mode so I could drag as much as I want or as little as I want, like that. 
And what you get is the finished product after that, which is this one. And that's how you do the slowdown effects, the beat drops, the speed up effects, the chops, the pans, the EQ, um, high, what is it, uh, low pass filter, you're cutting the highs, high cut. That's just how a couple tips that getting into the details on how to do those things. You could get even more creative with it. You could, um, you could do stuff with reverbs. You could do stuff with delays. You could do even crazier chops. You don't have to do speed ups when you do chops like these little 32nd note ones or 16th note uh, pans or any of that. You could just completely do what you want with it. There's a lot of options. So hopefully that helped you out. Peace.